PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. Hey, today I want to talk about if you've got a manky old plasma torch like this and you just want to upgrade your torch body, but you don't want to replace the whole lead because sometimes your lead's still good. I'll show you how easy it is and how you can just replace and interchange these torches. Anyway, guys, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, the same as usual, and uh, let's get into this, eh? So, guys, you've got a manky old plasma torch like this, and she's getting a bit worse for wear, this little sucker. So you just want to change it out for maybe a new model. You might want to put one of these on, or you might want to put one of these on. But like I say, your, your hose and that's still good, because you might be running a 6 or 7 metre hose or something like that. So you just want to change out the uh, torch end. I'll show you how quick and easy that is, guys. It's really simple, and it's really cheap to do. So once again, I'm just talking about the generic Chinese plasma torches. Most of these torches that I've come across are all exactly the same in the guts of them. All the way up to about 60 amp, maybe 65 amp. Anyway, I'll pull it a bit so I'll show you guys. Now it's got them like that, and we'll just uh, pull them apart, just take the switch cover off. These torches are all much the same, but they're all different, if you know what I mean. But they're all much the same, but different. See that in there, guys? Can you can you see that? Right, now the only difference between this one and this one is, basically, that this one has the switch here. This one has the switch here. And uh, you have your fitting here. So if you want to change that out to this torch, I'll show you how to do it. So we'll just disassemble this sucker, guys. Like that. We'll uh, disassemble them. Pull them to bits. Since you did it upside down, Pete, of course you did. <laughs> right, so anyway, I did that upside down, but never mind. You get the general gist of the idea. So all you basically got to do guys is swap the wires of the switch here, just the two wire switch onto the two wires here and undo that and then put this fitting here into here. I'll show you how to do it guys, a couple of open enders, just one on there to hold it tight like so and this one here just to undo it, doesn't take much, just a little tweak like that Then under your, uh, your head like so. Most of these plasma torches, believe it or not, have just got heads on them like this. It doesn't really matter what the uh, what the look of the body of the torch is. It'll be the same inside. Or it'll just have a different head mechanism, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll show you on this one first, and then we'll do another one. So here's my original hose. There's nothing wrong with my hose, so I want to use my original hose, but I want to update my torch, put a new torch body on it. So we'll just do it like this, guys. Just, um, take that out of there like so. Put them on there like so. Just do them up. Once again, we'll just do it in reverse like we did before. Just tweak them up a little bit like that. Stick them in here. Hee hee! You thought this was going to be really hard, didn't you? <laughs> Put that in there like that. There you go. You've got your uh, body there hooked up onto your, uh, onto your lead. And then uh, all I have to do now is just change the wires over here from the switch onto the switch here. And then Bob's your one. So all I'm going to do with the wires for the switch, guys, is just chop it off. Like so. I'm not going to get very technical about it. Old switch gone. Like that. Get the wires. Bear them up. Like that. Take the coating off it. One. Number two. Coating off it like that. Now I'd advise you to solder it on there, but um, I'm not going to for this demonstration. I'll just, uh, just twist it around just to show you that it works. So I put one in here. And just to be sure, guys, because I haven't soldered this, I'm just going to wrap a little bit of tape around it because I don't want it shorting out. Just make sure that the head fits in the torch like that. Just put your head in. Then you got your switch here. That's got a couple of little locator pins here. All the torches are different, but they're all the same if you know what I mean. That's pretty easy to do. Put them in the locator pin there. And here's your switch. Push your wires down. 
And then we want to put the trigger guard on. If you need a trigger guard, mind you, you better have it, I suppose, for Mr. Safety. Mr. Safety and all that. So we'll put the trigger guard on. All pretty basic, guys. Trigger, let's watch this little spring here because it's a pain in the bum, really. This little spring here, it just flicks your, your trigger guard back all the time. Then put the trigger on. Like so, fits in there beautiful peep. There we go. All reassembled again. <laughs> right, put the other side of the case on without dropping all that stuff through there. Make sure he fits in there nice like that. The other end of the case on like so. Close them up, push them down, get some screws. <laughs> Do it up. Yeah, pretty basic. This is the new one we've put on. Looks pretty snazzy, eh? Let's kick it in the guts, guys, and see if the sucker works. Woohoo! So we're going from the manky old torch, guys, like this. About three minutes later, we've got the nice new AG60 torch on there. Looking sweet, isn't it? Look at this ergonomically designed torch. Ergonomic, that's a big word for you, Pete. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can cut something with the sucker, eh? Let's see if it goes. Nice new torch, same old manky lead. Save yourself some money, guys. Anyway, now I'm gonna put this torch, we'll pull it to bits again, and I'm gonna put it on this SG51 torch head. We'll see if we can get this sucker to work, eh? <laughs> so this one is uh, SG61, guys. It's just a little bit different, again. Different, but the same, if you know what I mean. It's just a different style of torch. Um, these are up to about 55 amp, I think, these torches. So if we pull them to bits, I'll show you what's in the guts of them. So if we turn them over, see that? What we have here is exactly the same as what we had in the first one. It's exactly the same as this one, basically. It's just got your switch in here. We we'll pull them out, Pete. Now, let's see the switch. Remember the wires that I cut off there just for your switch? Just the switch, same connector here. Switch, hook your switch up, put your connector up, whack, and start cutting that. Anyway, guys, we'll give that a go, eh, just to prove that it works. So what we have to do, guys, is we we'll have to pull this sucker to bits again. Be getting dizzy, this torch. Just like so, just pull them to bits. That's what we did before, remember? Put my wires on here. And just hook that up. So what we'll do is we'll just take the wires off here. Just real quick. That's why I um, didn't solder them on, just so I could take them off. On and off real quick to show you fellas. See, I put them on that well and I can't even shake the things off. <laughs> Undo that. Come on, get off there. Yep, see, there we go. A couple of wires there. Not a problem. Once again, guys, just grab the old uh, the head out of the torch. Don't strip anything or anything. It's quite easy to do. Just undo them. She's not very tight. Just undo them out of there. Beautiful. Just like that. Unscrew them, put them away for next time. So what we'll do with this one guys is we'll just take the switch out of here. It's just a slide in switch, it's exactly the same but different if you understand what I'm saying. And we'll just uh, bear the wires off here like I did with the other one. Really simple to do this guys and you don't have to replace your whole torch, that's what I like about it. And these, these, there are many of these torches that are all exactly the same. 
with all the fitting. So you can just swap and change them and do whatever you want, you know. Just saves you buying the whole new torch. Because if you're anything like me and uh, like to save money, you know how it is. What we'll do now, guys, is just um, got my switch. I'll just twist the wires around here. Once again, they should be soldered, but it's just a, this is just for demonstration purposes. Grab a bit of tape just so I don't um, short the wires together because we wouldn't want that because that would be a light disaster and, you know, we don't need disasters. All right, guys, what you want to do now is just grab the torch head, same as I did before, screw them into here. Like that, just screw them in, same as the last one. They're all exactly the same. Just tighten them up. Tighten them up. Doesn't have to be very tight at all. Right, then we'll just reassemble them. That there fits in the groove like so. Just pull this back because this has got a different shroud on it here. But anyway, we'll just use it in the time being. If you, I would cut that off and just feed that in there nicely. But you know, we're just giving you a demonstration. Just giving you a demo. Slide the uh, the torch trigger in like that. Tuck your wires down there. Now just reassemble the torch, guys. Make sure that when you put the uh, your cover on, that the integrator switch bit here fits in to the top half. Otherwise, you'll snap that little circuit board off. And you don't really would be wanting to do that because that would be a right pain. So just make sure he fits in there properly. You'll hear it click. There you go. Feed your wires in down below. There you go. And uh, do the screws back up. So originally we had this Minky one on there, then we put this ergonomic one on there, and now we've got the SG51 torch on there. Right, kick it in the guts, Pete, and see if it works. <laughs> change out your torch and you can put any variety of torch you like on your same lead. Piece of cake Pete, piece of cake. Anyway guys you like my video subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment and uh, we'll see you next time. See ya! Pete's tools. Pete's tools. Pete's tools. Pete's tools.